Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashim Dutta and today we are going to discuss about Transformer Trainer and its order code is 46505C. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the working of this trainer. So this is a Transformer Trainer. So on the panel here, you will see a three-phase doll starter panel and this is the multifunction meter. This is another multifunction meter. This is lamp load here. We are having three lamp loads and this is the extension board. So this is the load bank panel. So here we are having a selector switch and this is another selector switch and this is the third selector switch and this is the fourth selector switch. So here you can select any of the switch and you can connect any terminal and use this as a load bank panel. So here we are having the resistances so you can vary these switches and you can select any of the particular resistance value as load. So this is the three phase transformer panel of one KVA. So here we are having the three, three phase transformers and this is the LCD for temperature meter. And this is the single phase transformer panel. Here we are having three single phase transformers and this is the LCD temperature meter. So by using this switch, you can on off this LCD temperature meter. So now we are going to perform the experiment on the kit. So the experiment we are going to perform is to study the working of single phase transformer with load. So firstly, we have to connect this multifunction meter and the second multifunction meter with this extension board and we have to connect the extension board power to the main AC supply and we have to connect this input three phase doll starter panel to the main three phase supply. So now we will do the connections first. So firstly we will connect the three phase doll starter panel output port with one of the multifunction meter. So I have connected the R2 with R1 of the multifunction meter because we will use the single phase. We are going to perform the single phase experiment. So that's why we will use one of the three R, Y and D. So we will use the R section. So for single phase, we will use any one of the three phases R, Y and B. So I am using here the R phase. And now I have connected the R output of the three phase doll starter panel to one of the multifunction meter and I have connected the neutral with the neutral. And now I will connect the output of the multifunction meter with the single phase transformer panel primary section. So I have connected this single phase transformer section 1 primary input and now I will connect the output of the multifunction meter with the other terminal of the primary input of this single phase transformer panel. And now I will connect the secondary output of the single phase transformer panel to the other multifunction meter to read the output values of this secondary coil of the transformer. So here I have connected the secondary coil with the multifunction meter input. So it will read the output of the secondary transformer. And now I will connect this multifunction meter output with the single phase selector switch load. So I am using the single phase selector switch. Here we are having the three single phase selector switch. You can use any of the three. I am using the first one or you can use the second one also. You can use any of the three for the single phase. So now I will connect the output with the other end of the single phase selector switch like this. And initially we have to keep the selector switch position at fifth, 
like this. So after the connection is done, now we will switch on the main three phase supply. So we will provide the three phase supply. So for that we have to switch on this three phase input. So here the dual LEDs will show that the supply is proper. So here you can see R by B we are getting the three phase supply here. So now firstly you have to check this if the emergency off switch is at off position or at on position. So firstly we have to remove this emergency off switch and then you can verify the connections again and now as we have connected the multifunction meters with the extension board so we have to switch on the multifunction meters so here you can see that we have switched on the multifunction meter and now we will press this start switch after that the supply will move to the system so when you press the start button you will notice that you will get the supply voltage here and you have to switch on the fan of this load bank panel so here we are having the two fans one is this side and one is at this side so we have to switch on the fan so that if it gets heated so the fans will make it cool So immediately while using the load bank we have to keep this fan switch at on position like this and now on the multifunction meter here you will notice this is the input voltage V in and this is the output voltage and you can take different readings by pressing the selector switch at the multifunction meter. So wherever readings whatever readings you want you can take the readings from this multifunction meter so here you can see the current reading which is 1.19 ampere and here we are getting the line to neutral voltage of the output section so as we have kept the selector switch at fifth position so as you rotate the selector switch from 1 to 6 so it will increase the resistance value so as if you keep this at first position the resistance value will be minimum then if you keep the switch at second position the resistance value will increase from the first value and then when you will continuously increase till sixth one at the sixth position you will get the maximum resistance value so currently we have kept it at fifth position you can keep this at fourth and you can notice the current rating so it is now 1.44 here also on the secondary you can notice the current value so it is 2.60 approx now we will keep the selector switch at 6 position so here you will see the current rating have gone to 0 0.13 and at 5th position you will notice the current rating will be 2.13 and you can take the voltage reading also the power factor the power rating in watt then VA then again you can get the line to neutral voltage here also you can check this for different readings so that is how you can perform this experiment you can use any of the single phase transformer section and here also on the LCD temperature meter you will notice the temperature of the transformers which are present inside this single phase transformer panel box so you can use any of the single phase transformer here I have 
use the first one you can use the second one also and the third one also and for the single phase selector switch also you can use any of the three single phase selector switches and here also you can use any of the phase that is you can also use the Y phase or the B phase here I have used the R phase you can also use any of the three phases which are available in the three phase doll starter panel so that is how you can perform this experiment you can also form this observation table which is given in the manual so all the readings you can take from the multifunction meter all the readings you can take from these two multifunction meters and you can use the formulas for calculating the values of these particular and you can fill the values in this observation table Now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study and measure three phase power of lamp load in star connection. So firstly we have to do the connections. So we will connect the output of the three phase doll starter panel with the multifunction meter. So now for the three phase we will connect all the three phases R, Y, B and neutral. So firstly we have to connect these with the multifunction meter. So I am connecting the R, Y, B neutral ports of the three phase doll starter panel with the multifunction meter like this. So here you can see that I have connected R, Y, B neutral terminals output to the input of the multifunction meter and now we will connect the output of the multifunction meter R with one of the lamp load like this and now I will connect the Y phase with the second load and then I will connect the B phase with the third lamp load like this and now I will connect the neutral with the neutral and now I will do the star connection so for that I will connect the neutrals of the lamp with each other like this So that is how the connection is done. So after the connection is done, now we will switch on the multifunction meter. And now we will switch on this four pole MCB. So here this jewel light indications will indicate that we are getting the all three phase input. And now we have to press the start so that we will get the readings on the multifunction meter so as i have pressed the start of the three phase doll starter panel so here you can see that we are getting the r by b voltages so these are the line to neutral voltages so these are the voltages which we are getting on each phase r by and b l1 l2 and l3 now we will switch on the lamp one by one here you can see that so that is how all the lamps all the three lamps you can switch it on and you can observe the readings on the multifunction meter so you can take the readings by switching on any of the three load so as i have switched on the load of the r phase so now i will check the current rating at the r phase so it is almost 0.5 ampere you can switch on the second load also and you can check the current rating of the second load it is approximately same as the r1 so that is how 
you can take readings from this multifunction meter you can take the watt reading also the power reading so it is 124 watt similarly you can check it for all the three phases so that is how you can perform this experiment and you can take the readings from this multifunction meter now we are going to perform another experiment that is to study the working of three phase transformer with load so for that firstly we have to do the connections so i will connect the three phase doll starter output r to the primary input of the first transformer of this three phase transformer panel and now i will connect the y phase output from the three phase doll starter to the second three phase transformer and now i will connect the b phase output from the doll starter panel to the third transformer of this three phase transformer panel now i will connect the neutral to the primary like this and now i will connect so we will connect the other end of the primary like this so i am connecting the neutral of the primary of all these three transformers with each other and i will connect this with the neutral of this output section and now we will connect the secondary of the first transformer with one of the multifunction meter let's take this multifunction meter and now i will connect the secondary transformer output to the input of this multifunction meter and now i will connect the secondary output of b phase to this multifunction meter input and now we will again short the secondary neutral winding a first second and third transformer and then we will connect it finally with the neutral of this multifunction meter so the connection diagram is given in the manual you can refer the manual for the connection diagram and now we will connect the output of the multifunction meter with this load bank panel so for that firstly we will short the t8 and t10 port and then we will short the t10 and t12 port like this and now we will connect the r with one terminal and we will connect the y with the yellow terminal marked on the three phase selector switch so on the load bank panel for three phase we have to use this three phase selector switch the first three are the selector switch for single phase for three phase we are having this fourth selector switch so while doing the three phase connection and while using the load for three phase we have to connect it along the three phase selector switch and now 
we will connect the b phase with the b and we will connect the neutrals like this so that is how the connection is done so after the connection is done now we have to keep this three phase selector switch at fifth position which is the maximum one so before switching on the trainer kit we have to keep this three phase selector switch at fifth position and now we will provide the three phase input by using this four pole mcb so here these dual leds are indicating that we are getting the supply here and now we will switch on the multifunction meter and we will switch on this three phase transformer lcd temperature meter and we will start the fan of this load panel and now we will press this start so that the voltage will be supplied in the unit and here you will see the line to neutral voltage which is 71 as we are using the maximum load now when we change the switch position and when we reduce the resistance value we will see the change in the readings of the voltage and here you will notice the changes in all the measurements so this is the current rating measurement which we are getting so we are getting the 0.7 ampere current and in second l2 we are getting 1.03 ampere current and in the l3 that is the b phase we are getting 0.7 ampere so that is how you can take different readings from this multifunction meter and you can perform the experiment and here also you can notice the temperature of the transformer which is 22.9 degrees celsius right now so that is how you can perform this experiment so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query related to this trainer you can contact the tesca global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel